afternoon, gardening friends. This is the third in my installments of palms that'll grow in a zone 8B garden. And today I'll be talking about this one. I apologize for the noise because it's in my front yard and you'll get a lot of street noises. Not to mention the air conditioner that just kicked on. <laughs> but this is the Sable Miner. These are the flower stalks. It sent them up. They didn't do anything other than dry up, so I don't know what the story is. Maybe it was too wet for it. But this is a true palmetto. It should not form a trunk. It likes to grow in shadier locations. Uh, the leaves, older leaves, can reach up to six foot long. Again, it's just there is no trunk, so they just grow from out of the ground. And these are, they can get quite broad. Here's my hand in comparison to this leaf. Uh, they'll get to be two to three feet across and they'll be right in your face because they do get to be about six foot tall. But the nice thing about Sable Miner is that it really has no pest problems. It's tolerant to drought. Uh, you don't have to worry about fertilizing it as much as the other palms. Uh, and it has no thorns or sharp edges. If you look at the trunks of this, there's nothing here. No saw uh, tooth edges or anything like that. So it's a very pet friendly, child friendly plant. Again, that's the Sable Miner. Let's go and see my palm book, what it says about that. Gosh, we're getting bombarded by everything. There's a plane now. But here's my palm book, open to the dwarf palmetto, palmetto or sable miner. Of course, this is Betrock's Guide to Landscape Palm. And there you can see the entry for dwarf palmetto. It'll grow six foot tall, hardy to zone seven to 10B, growth rate is slow. It talks about a lot of other things. It basically doesn't have a lot of pest problems or major disease problems. It says its habit is a solitary, essentially trunkless palm with eight to 20 leaves. You can get blue-green ones. I happen to have a green one. And they're native to the southeastern United States. So there you have it. There's really nothing negative to say about the Sable Miner. The only thing that I have to say is I did have two examples of this in my backyard underneath my Phoenix Canariensis or my date palm. And they do not like to be moved. When I saw the name Palmetto, Dwarf Palmetto, I figured, oh boy, I'd plant them underneath the uh, palm tree. And uh, when they got about six to eight feet tall, uh, they were kind of swamping my date palm at the time. It was probably about 10 years ago, the date palm was shorter. And I didn't want it there, so I thought, well, I'll dig them up and put them somewhere else. Uh, I know from experience they do not like to be transplanted because both plants died upon moving. So uh, they don't like root disturbance. Uh, and I only moved them like five feet from where I had originally planted them. So the soil was the same and the aspect is the same. So it's a good plant once when you get it established. Very human friendly. And that's it for the dwarf palmetto or sable miner. Have a good day.